In this video, I get to talk about Murphy bed and the problem that I noticed, uh, and it was brought to my attention by another couple when we were out camping. They have a trailer with the Murphy bed similar to our trailer, and right down here, right there, on the bottom of the leg, you can see that gap there. Well, it, uh, on theirs, the other trailer, it was significantly more damage than our trailer. Our trailer is not very noticeable, but I came up with a solution to fix it. And so you might want to check on your Murphy bed to see if the legs are damaging your floor at all here. Just take a close look. So let's go down here close and take a look at what's going on. So now that you're down here, you can see there's a pretty good gap here. And if you look here, there's just a little piece of hard plastic that all the weight from the Murphy bed sitting down on, pushing on the floor in this one spot. And our trailer, it's not very bad, uh, the little indentation in the floor, but the one I saw, it actually broke the plywood a little bit and there was a dent that was maybe Oh, uh, it's almost a quarter inch deep, if that, three sixteenths quarter. So I don't want to run into that problem with mine. And also, uh, if you're having a problem with your trailer, here's a good solution to fix it. But I'm going to raise this up slightly so you can see this. See this here? That's hard rubber. So all the weight from this whole area is sitting down on one spot. And in the video here, you can't see the damage it's caused here. It's not too bad. So I want to fix this before there's a problem. This trailer is four years old. So I'm going to flip the bed up so you can take a look and see what I'm going to do. Here's what it looks like at the bottom of the leg. Let me get in closer here to show you something. And uh, this here is hard rubber. It doesn't even really flex. So that's just a hard point pushing on one little area of your uh, floor from the whole bed right here. So on this here, got one over there, and one over here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and show you what it looks like. Here it is, I just removed it with my screw gun. It's a Robert, Robert's head square screw, comes right off. Now you can see what it looks like there. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna go ahead and take this felt here. It comes in uh, four and a quarter by six inch sheets. Bought it at the hardware store, or you could buy it on Amazon. I'll put links below for you to purchase this. It's a two pack. And out of the package, it looks like this. It's got self-adhesive on there. It's pretty stiff, but the felt is soft. So if I put this on here, it's gonna cover the whole bottom. I'm just gonna cut it to fit on here. And uh, so all the pressure will be distributed on this whole area here. I'm gonna do it on both sides and it should uh, only be at the problem. What I did was I just placed this upside down against here, held it against it, and marked it with a felt marker. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out with a utility knife. And uh, hopefully I can get out of this one piece here, I can get both of them, we'll see. If not, I have another one to do it. So let's get this thing cut. I'm gonna use a utility knife instead of scissors. They say you could use scissors. I'm just gonna hold this uh, down here and run my blade along it. And that way I'll get nice clean cuts. It's all cut out and I actually cut pretty good with this utility knife. I just ended up scoring it using my square, the metal edge, and then took the square away and then just cut it after a few swipes. To cut it with scissors would be pretty hard to do because this stuff's pretty hard. So there's what it looks like. Let's go see if it fits. 
It fits perfectly. So I'll show you what I did on the ear. I was able to mark out for the other side. Worked out, so I'm just using one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out now. The next step is to sand all this here slightly so it smooths it out because there's some rough finish here from the uh, grain of the wood so that it has a nice surface to adhere to. Let's go over here to the other side where I just sanded it. And you can see here it's smoother. Here it's it'd be too much to sand out so I got the majority of it sanded smooth. And I'll put the pad on there. So I'm going to go ahead and sand the other side. But So I sanded this and then I vacuumed the grain real good and then I wiped it down with a rag so it's nice and clean and dust free. I peeled back the adhesive here. I'm going to stick it on. Um, if it doesn't stick very good, I'll use a construction adhesive to put it on there. So let's see what happens. Well, I have them both on um, right now. And I'm pretty impressed with how, how well it sticks. So I think uh, sanding it sure helped to make it sm a smoother surface to stick to. So I don't think I'm gonna need to do any adhesive in the future. So in the future, um, just take a look in the description below in the future and see if I have uh, had to do adhesive, but I don't think so. Once the bed's down too, and it pushes on here, and I'll leave it in the down position for a while, it'll kind of really push it on to adhere even more. But it's really hard, I can't even really peel it off, so I think we're good. So I'm gonna put the bed in the down position so we could take a look at it. Here's what it looks like in the down position. It turned out pretty good. All the way across now on the back, as you can see. So I'm pretty happy with this. So this should help out quite a bit. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and uh, I'll put down in the description below the products I use for this. And um, so you can see it and just click on it and you can order it. And uh, so this bed, this Murphy bed has been a pretty good bed. I've been happy with it. You can see we replaced it a while ago with a perfect cloud mattress which we like better than our house mattress with this rockwood 2017 um, we're able to use a 10 inch mattress that's the thickest you can go the mattress that came with it wasn't very good at all we tried a topper didn't work so it's unfortunate they don't sell this mattress anymore um, or i could give you a link below for it but for some reason they stopped selling it um and uh, this mattress, this frame, we had a problem before on it where it, the rail on the other side bent. So I had to take the whole bed out and rebuild it in my garage. So I'll put a link up above uh, where you can click on it and go to my rebuilding of this bed. I hope that never happens to you because it was a pain. But actually, after I did it, the mattress was so much better. So thanks for watching, everybody. Don't for forget to subscribe if you like and hit that bell icon and you'll see future videos come out. Uh, go right to your email to let you know that you have uh, new videos out there to watch. Thanks, everybody. Take care and happy camping.